Hello dear friends, this is Dr. Muhammad Aminul Islam. Welcome to my channel. In my last video, I explained how to find out DJA's adsorption and desorption pore size distribution curve and how to plot them. In this video, I would like to explain the adsorption and desorption pore size distribution curve. Let us consider a real example of the adsorption and desorption curve for number one is barnesite, then pyrolocyte, hosmanite and mag mag magnetite. The first one is barnesite. So if we consider barnesite, we see that the adsorption curve is this and desorption curve is this. That means only a single peak is observed at around 5 nanometer. So the particle uh, distribution curve is here and barnesite is mesoporous in structure. Now let us consider case B which is pyrolocyte. If we consider adsorption pore size distribution curve, we see that there are four peaks. One, two, three, four. Four peaks observed for adsorption distribution curve and one peak observed for desorption distribution curve. So, and these four peaks are for four moods centered at 4.73 nanometer, 42 nanometer, 58 nanometer, and 72 nanometer respectively. That means pyrolocyte is a meso and microporous material. That means this material contains some uh, particles which are mesoporous and some particles which are microporous material and similarly for hosmanite we also see both meso and microporous hierarchical structure and for ma magnetite we also see both mesoporous and microporous hierarchical structure. So from BJA's pore size distribution curve, we can easily predict whether a material is only mesoporous or both mesoporous and microporous in nature. So that's for today. If you have any query, please leave comment in the comment section. Please do visit Aminul Camp Innovation. Don't forget to subscribe this channel for more new videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.